Yeah. Hey, Steve. Um, what, what, to you was, what to you stood out the most in, in a positive way and then a negative way just about your group and, and how they progressed so far this year? You know, I've been really encouraged about uh, the way the four, the four of them, you know, have worked together as far as, uh, you know, Deuce and, and Cody and, and uh, Eli and J-Ball. I mean, they've really grown together as a group. feel confident about putting any one of them on the field. Um, I think Deuce and Cody have earned themselves into a position of uh, getting equal reps as uh, Justin and Eli. And that's the last game we pretty much were balanced right around 44 for the first group and 41 for the second group. And so we feel good about that rotation. And anytime you got a chance to put uh, four guys on the field instead of two, they're going to play faster uh, with 40 snaps as opposed to 85. I know this is something I've asked Justin about before, but from your standpoint, where do you feel like he's at just confidence-wise getting back from the, the knee surgery and trying to trust the knee and everything this year? You know, I think Justin, very smart uh, player. You know, he, he understands the scheme. Uh, he understands where he needs to be, and that's what allows him to be on the field. I think he his knee is probably not, I'm guessing, you know, I haven't seen film of him uh, before the knee. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't say he's 100% of where he probably was, but I think he understands how the knee affects him and what limitations it may, may present for him. Appreciate it, Steve. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, John. Adam? Coach, how do you feel about this group of linebackers that you have now going up against another very talented offense with uh, Chuba and the talented air attack Oklahoma State has as well? Yeah, you know, um, been an awesome group to work with, first of all. Um, I appreciate everything that they've done so far this year. Um, I think uh, as I look at it, I think, you know, a guy like Deuce has really tried the last four weeks to apply uh, himself and understanding uh, what he needs to work on, you know, to put himself in a position uh, to make more plays, um, which is going to be important for all four linebackers, you know, and Cody. Uh, is a tremendous uh, special teams player for us and gives us unbelievable reps um, at linebacker. But I think all four of them, uh, especially three of the four, understand how important their angles are and their ability to keep the cup, putting their body in position. Uh, Eli is probably the most uh, athletically talented and fastest of them. And Eli can probably sometimes get away with uh, bad angles because he can put his foot in the ground a little bit quicker. But I think, you know, the, the running backs we're going against are similar to the guys we've gone against uh, when I was at Syracuse and ATN. And uh, they're both very good backs. And we're going to do a great job keeping great angles, great leverage on. We're going to have to swarm them. And in order to, to slow down a running back, uh, two running backs of this caliber, you've got to, you got to hit, you got to tackle, you got to drive them to the ground, and you got to get three or four people on them. And then from a quarterback standpoint, you know, he can run. You know, uh, Spencer can run, he can throw. I mean, he's definitely a dual threat uh, quarterback. And we got to stop him from running with the football first and then obviously uh, take care of uh, the great receivers they have out on the perimeter. Eric? Eric. Hey, Coach. Uh, looking further down your, your linebacker depth chart, is there any young guys that are progressing enough that makes you tempted to start to be tempted to throw them out there and into the fire? You know, I'm, I'm really encouraged about the younger backers we have. There's a whole list of them. Um, that are really doing a great job of applying themselves mentally and, and physically. They're, they're eager to learn. You know, I look at Austin Moore, you know, Nick Allen, and we moved Ryan over there, you know, Henny, uh, from safety. You know, he's a travelman, I guess. He came here as a quarterback and then a safety and now a, a linebacker. And you talk about a guy who, who wears you out as a coach as far as wanting to learn. I mean, he's up here all the time, and you never want to tell a young man no, but sometimes you got to tell Ryan, hey, man, we don't have enough time. We only can give you 20 hours of a week, you know, so, but he's, he's eager to learn too. You know, you got Levi Archer, uh, who's a talented kid that can run. So I'm, I'm encouraged about the future at that, that spot with these young guys and their attitude towards uh, learning and developing. How would you describe your first year in the Big 12 and what you've kind of seen from the offenses in this league compared to other places you've been? You know, so far, there's a ton of similarity. It seems like uh, the whole Big 12 goes to a convention and decides they're all going to run the same offense because uh, a lot of Y off, you know, talent, uh, athletic tight ends that they're going to move around, flex out, bring them in. Not a lot of Y on the line of scrimmage, a lot of Y off. You know, a lot of plays that we consider similar run, run game-wise, pass game-wise, you know, a lot of RPOs and uh, similar, similar pass routes. So 
uh, you got to be athletic, you know, to play in this league. You got to recruit from my position, linebacker wise, you got to recruit athletes who can run. You don't need uh, six foot three, 245 pound linebackers. You got to take on ice. So you got to you got to have guys that can, can cover ground, uh, can tackle in space and are very aware of their, uh, uh, the routes that are going on around them. So it's, it's a, it's a, you got to stop the run. There's good running backs in this league, but the ball's thrown around from uh, horizontally to vertically. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Last one here, Ryan. Hey, Steve, on that point you just brought up, when you're saying so many of the Big 12 offenses run kind of somewhat similar schemes, I mean, does that, does that make it easier week to week or, or, or no? Because it really just depends on the talent of the offense that you're facing. Uh, you know, and I, I say that to this point, you know, of, of the ones that we faced. Yeah. So, I, you know, I still have, I think, I, you know, Iowa State, I think is a little more, di more diverse personnel wise. Um, but a lot of people like 11 personnel and 10 personnel in this league. But um, yeah, it does. There's carryover week to week as far as the runs you get and some of the routes you get. But everyone has their own little bit of twists. And then obviously the talent of who you're going against uh, has a lot to do with how you're going to defend things, you know, whether the talent on the perimeter with the receivers or the, the running back position. And then also is a quarterback a runner, you know, and when he's a runner, it can change the dynamics of how you defend it. But yeah, it, it helps. It helps. There's uh, you know a lot of the same runs week in, week out. We should be continuing to get better and better at fitting those runs.